so this is lecture on programming interviews and the question here is that okay we are learning about binary trees so we are learning about binary trees and so let's take an example so we are given to find size so the function is int size struct node star node so let's see what the function wants so let's say we have a tree say 1 2 25, 36, 22, 56, 61. So, and let's say one more we can do 105 and 26. So, let's say this is our tree, and what we want now is we want to find the size of the tree so size is equal to number of nodes in the tree okay so here we have one node two three four five six seven eight nine and similarly if i draw another tree say one five so this has now so one two and three so the size function for this will return three and for this it will return four five six seven eight nine so this is the problem now the thing is how we will code this in a binary tree so the code will look something like so we have the structure of the node is the struct node of the tree is struct node we have let's say int data and then struct node star left and then struct node star right so now this is the tree node which is this is the data which is one then we have this is the left child and this is the right child so these are the pointers so now the thing is the code is to find out write a function size which returns the number of nodes in the tree so of course for a tree we will have a recursive code so let's try to see or uh, write the code so we will have something like int size and i take struct node star so it's a pointer to the tree so what i now write is that okay if So we will write if so node is not equal to null so if the node we are getting is not null so we will return return size node left plus one plus size node right so now let's see and if node is not equal to null else if it is null so return zero so this is the code that we write and now let's see how it works so it's int size so this is a very precise code because it's recursion and 
we see that let's see what happens so i will call in the main with size of root so this will now let's see what happens so this is a chain reaction and what will happen is so it will come here so let's try to see it in this code first in this tree so i say this is the root i pass the pointer to it node is not equal to null so i will return size of node left so it will be this pointer plus 1 plus size of node right which is this pointer so now what will happen is i will comes to the first size node left will come here this node is not equal to null so it will return size of node left which is null plus 1 plus size of node right which is null so we get 1 is evaluated here then when it goes to size node left so it is null and it will return 0 so it is 0 plus 1 plus size of node right so node right is null so it will return 0 so this is 1 so this now this return becomes 0 plus 1 plus 0 1 so now it get returned here so now this size is 1 so similarly here if we are looking at so in this code now what happens at this level we have size of node left is 1 plus this one is added plus now we go to size of node right so now if we go to size of node right so it will again come here and it will calculate so this node is not null so it will go and return size of node left so size of node left because node is null it is 0 plus 1 for itself plus size of node right right of this is null so it will return as 0 so it will become 1 so basically it will be now here this one will be 1 and it will become 3 so this is the code if you are asked the question to find the size or the number of nodes in a given tree so this simple code will do so if you want to try this out for a bigger example like this so we can see that also so let's make one good tree little bit bigger so now let's say i have 10 then 5 a 3 a 4 a 6 here a 7 and a 15 so let's say this is the tree we have and if we go to the code earlier so we have a size so let for benefit let's a revision will also be there so let's write the code so it will be we have int because i want to return the size so int size and then struct node star node and then i see that if node is not equal to null so i pass come to this pointer if node is not null i return size of node left plus 1 plus size of node right so this is the code and then else if the node is null i return zero so let's see now what happens so let's try run this so in int main i will just call this size of root of the node so what will happen now this is the root i come here at level 1 so let's see at this level so i will return so we will use some colors so this will be say red color and this level will be green for both and then the 
third level let's say will be bagan so this is the third level color so now we will come so first is the red color so root we come at the root so if node is not null so root is not null so we will return we will return size of node left so which is i will write just a number which is node 5 size of tree 5 5 t something like this plus 1 plus size of next t with root so 6 t i write so this 5 t and 6 t means a sub tree with root as 5 okay so now let's see so we go into the second level so the color is green so i use green so now size now when i call size of with this as the node pointer so now it is not null and again i will return size of 3t plus 1 plus size of 4t so this means it is calling the function again with 3 as the node and node with data 4 So let's now go to the bagani level. So what will happen is now we come to this level, and so let's say this function call of size of with pointer to three. So now what it will do? So node is not null, so it will return size of node left. Node left is null. so node right is null and when it is null it just returns a zero so it will return a zero plus 1 plus node right which is null so it will return a zero so which means this is equal to 1 return 1 so this return will now go here so let's come back to the green level so one will be added here this one is there now we go to size 40 so let's again come back to the maroon one so it will return now again the pointer is four the node so it will call now size of node left so node left of four is null so it will return a zero here plus one because of the code and node right is null so it will return a zero so this also returns a one here so this returns a one so this one goes here and it becomes 1 so this now is added and it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 so which is 3 so now this 3 it goes to from where was it called from size of 5t we have evaluated all this so this goes here and the size becomes 3 one was there for this five itself because it's also a node and then we move further to size of 60 so now coming to size of 60 so let's little bit kind of rub we can do rubbing or will it work so coming back here size of 60 so again we will work in green so coming to size of 60 so it will in turn call so it will call so let's now be little bit precise it will call return and let's have the same color scheme so it will be return so it will call size of so six will call 60 will call now 5 15 and 7 so it will be 15t plus 1 plus size of 7t 
so this is the fall and now so this 15th is the node left of 6 node 6 and now let's see what happens so we will come to the balcony level and size of this we will come to this pointer and it will be now it has node left null node right null so it will return 0 plus 1 plus 0 so this will become 1 this is 1 and size of 70 so it will come here this node is not null so it will call size of node left node left here is null will return 0 so 0 plus 1 for itself and plus node right which is null so it will be 0 1 so this is 1 this is 1 and 1 so it becomes 3 again so here it becomes a 3 so now what happens so let's come back to the real call which is return size of 5t plus 1 plus 60 so this return 3 this return 3 this was 1 so now it becomes equal to 7 and this was the main call so in the main it will return 7 which was the required thing so this explained the size function and how it returns so i hope you like this so please subscribe to saurabhschool.org and check out all the programming interview questions thank you